Finding the right question requires thinking. I said in another piece called Empathy in Science. What do I mean by that? Hi, my name's Alex. I've argued enough for a lifetime. In this series of videos, I zoom in on the perspective science can give you. I'll show you the playlist at the end. Because nature's complex, science isn't. On to Newton's dark room. One of the urban myths about Sir Isaac Newton tells about him as a 17-year-old looking at a rainbow and wondering where the colors would come from. As always, when talking about historical anecdotes, I don't really know what to think or whether they even happened. I believe Newton started with prisms and then went to rainbows the other way round, but whether it's this way or that way, the myth can shed some light on how science works. What does it mean to have to think when finding the right question? In order to answer that, let's assume that the urban myth is true. On the surface, it's not necessarily straightforward to look at a rainbow and go, gee, I wonder whether I could simulate this with a hole in the wall and a particularly shaped piece of glass. Then, of course, looking at soap bubbles, windows and things like that can give ideas to the observant observer. Again, I want to point out that I don't know how this happened, if it did. I'll claim, however, that it is rather simple to imagine how this could have happened. Because usually, you can't really. Have you, for example, ever asked yourself how they came to look at wild grain back in the day and thought, let's grind this corn and mix it with water before putting it into the fire, so we can have bread? And what about fire itself? I've used it as an example for something like this in a piece about exploration. Now, these are difficult questions. How Newton came to build his famous experiment isn't really, once you allow yourself to ponder it a little. So, here's how I would imagine the whole thing if it did happen. Newton seeing a rainbow. Newton asking himself why there would be a rainbow. Newton realizing that this is a bottomless question and adjusting to wondering how it happens. Newton thinking of soap bubbles or window panes and realizing he could play around with glass in different shapes to figure out a thing or two. After finding out how to separate one ray of light from all the sunlight, through a hole in the wall of a darkroom, he uses a prism to make a rainbow. The experiment must have cost quite some money, but we'll forget that for now. It's engineering, you know, and engineers spend money. Of course they do. The scientist spends time. Don't be deceived by the way I put this process. It's not as quick. In fact, it reminds me of my own decision making, at least sometimes when things need to mature. Let me know down in the comments if you recognize the pattern of thinking. Newton took time to understand it all properly and as far as he could. Granted, he was the quintessential genius, so it probably took him a shorter time than it would have any of us, but still, would it have been quicker to have Newton stare at window panes first and then think of rainbows? No. Again, it wouldn't make a difference. Newton will, for example, not have seen a prism at the very moment the other thoughts came. Or maybe he will have, but it would take time to put two and two together. The end result would still be a lot of time spent considering, pondering, thinking. What's more, the process above is exactly what science is. Invest time, and yes, then spend money on engineering an experiment. And at the end there lies, well, normally either the or just another hypothesis. You know, it's the trope with a capital T. Every answer leads to thousands of other questions. There are two things hidden in this. Scientists can be wrong, and yes, they can be rather slow to accept being wrong. And, as I have mentioned in that video on empathy, scientists train for a lifetime, not to fool themselves. I also said that for all that training, it's difficult to keep up to the ideal in every single instance. Both of these points have their reason in the very fact that finding the right question requires thinking, as well as other sorts of investment. Got that? 